Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to repair the two common fault codes that can be found on a Dodge Dakota equipped with a 4.7 liter V8. There are two fault codes which are P0440 and P0456. This repair may also apply to other engines and models as well. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. This particular truck I am working with here today is a 2003 Dodge Dakota 4.7 liter V8 two wheel drive. First to briefly explain the two codes. The P0440 is a fault code found on the EVAP or also known as the Evaporative Emission Control System. Next, P0456 is also an EVAP issue but directed towards having a system leak. Both of these fault codes affect the admissions on your vehicle. First, we'll start by looking under the hood and inspecting the vacuum lines. As you can see, the common break point is the T-fitting. The rubber dries out over time and eventually cracks, therefore causing a leak. Here, instead of replacing the whole line, you can cut the damaged area back to a non-damaged area and then replace the short piece of rubber line. I have inspected the rest of the rubber line and it is still in good condition and usable. This may vary between vehicles. When replacing the line, be sure it's compatible with fuel, otherwise it will deteriorate. The lines which can cause the air codes travel anywhere from the throttle body all the way to behind the battery to an EVAP solenoid. Now the next common fault is found underneath the truck. This is an extended cab model, so the location may vary for the carbon canister. On this truck, it's located on the driver's side under the driver's seat area. Here we can find the rubber hoses have also failed. They will dry out and crack over time, therefore causing a leak. Here you can see the failed lines. These rubber lines can be purchased from a local dealer and they do sell them as a kit. For added security, you can also install gear clamps or some form of a hose clamp on the connections as well. It's your choice. Here you can see a better look of the older line which did fail. We also have a rubber reduction fitting as well, which can fail. When you've finished up with replacing the items, you can reset the codes. Now this can be done by simply driving your vehicle and after multiple startups, the code will be canceled out. Other methods include disconnecting the battery, which clears the computer's logs, or using an OBD2 code reader, which will erase the codes. This concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.